So if I ask you that what is the biggest problem in Africa, what will you say? If I ask you that what is the number one problem in Africa, a problem that is very, very significant, that has impacted every single thing and the lives and people in Africa, what will you say? Well, I guess most of you will say poverty. Most of you will say unemployment. Most of you will say poor healthcare system. Most of you will say bad words. And uh, you might be right. You might be right. There is high level of unemployment in Africa. There is poor healthcare system. There is poverty and starvation in Africa. All these things are there. But the number one problem in Africa is corruption. Corruption is a very, very severe problem in Africa. Corruption is at all levels in Africa. Every single country in Africa has a very high level of corruption. Now, do not get me wrong, okay? There is corruption all over the world. There is corruption in Asia. There is corruption in America. There is corruption in Europe. In fact, multi-billion dollar companies all engage in one form of corruption or the other. So do not get me confused. But what I am talking about is the degree of corruption. The one in Europe or in America is very, very low. But that of Africa is so, so high. You can see, I don't need to tell you, if you are from Africa, you can see it. I think even a child can tell you that there is corruption in his or her neighborhood. In fact, corruption has infected every single organization, every single government department, every single office in Africa. There is nowhere you will go without finding a little bit of corruption being practiced by the people there. And that is why Africa cannot go anywhere. That is why Africa is where it is now. Corruption is a very, very destructive element. Corruption destroys the country destroys the people's future and destroys everything more than any other thing you can think of. Corruption is the number one enemy of the people and of everything that we all stand for or believe in. Take for example, if not of the level or degree of corruption in Africa, won't we be able to get things done? If not for the fact that someone who is in charge of, of doing something won't do it and will corrupt his supervisor and will corrupt his supervisor or her supervisor in order for the supervisor to give him or her a good remark. Someone who is supposed to make a road or build a hospital won't do it or will do it in a very poor and low quality way. And instead of the supervisor who is supposed to supervise the person who has carried out that particular project, sanctioning him or her for not doing a job well done the person will corrupt the supervisor. So, if corruption in Africa could be reduced to a significant level, I do believe many things in Africa will get done. There will be employment. 
there will be good healthcare system. Poverty will be reduced. And a lot of things will start to happen. So first, we must fight corruption in Africa before we can get anything done. Because if we keep on fighting or struggling to fix unemployment, to fix poverty, to fix famine without fixing corruption, then we are just fooling ourselves. Because corruption is the architect of all the problems Africa is facing. The only way that we can get ahead is to tackle corruption. Is to make sure that people who are corrupt are being penalized. Is to make sure that we, the people, have a conscience. We, the people, become sympathetic. We, the people, fall in love with our countries and our continent. We must embody with us the spirit of change. We must, and I must say this, we must love our countries. That is the only way that we can move ahead. That is the only way that we can get ahead. If we do not tackle corruption, my brothers and sisters, I must say this again, if we do not tackle corruption, we shall go nowhere. We will go nowhere for the biggest problem in Africa is corruption. So to you guys out there, how is the level of corruption in your country? And uh, is the government of your country doing enough to fight this corruption? What can be done to fight corruption in Africa? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below because, like always, we love hearing your thoughts and opinions on the topics that we cover on this show. And also, if you came across any article or if you have any personal story that you would like us to cover on this show, please send it our way through any of our social media platforms. You can find them on this channel description section. And one more thing, kindly support the show with a dollar or more through the crowdfunding website Patreon or directly to us through a paper account. You have no idea how far your support and donations take us and we shall forever, ever, ever be grateful to you. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow our Facebook page. Actions of goodwill like this helps us keep this platform going. And we have reserved a place in our heart for you. So thank you very much and see you in the next one. And cut.